Hey guys, in this video we're going to address uh, one of the questions which uh, I've been received uh, more often and that is what is the best design software available at the moment. So we're going to talk about that uh, and uh, what uh, my opinions are regarding this. So I want to uh, go straight to the point uh, and uh, let you know that in my opinion like design software don't uh, really matter as much uh, as most people think. And uh, by that I'm referring the, to the fact that if you're actually um, going and uh, learning one of the main design softwares at the moment, uh, which, uh, you know, the ones that uh, come on top of my mind or uh, Sketch, uh, Figma, Adobe XD, um, I think that you're going to be good with uh, all of them um, because uh, the truth is that it doesn't really change a lot uh, um, based on what which one you choose. Uh, they pretty much uh, all have uh, the main features. However, I think that at the moment uh, some of them have some features which uh, uh, might be interesting for you to consider in uh, um, you know based on the type of work that you're doing and the type of clients that you're dealing with. Uh, uh, but I think that. Um, especially what I'm what I've been seeing in uh, 2019 and uh, my thoughts uh, going forward in 2020 is that a lot of these softwares um, they're also like taking inspiration from each other so um, a lot of the the cool features that uh, maybe differentiated one uh, have been uh, or, or starting to being implemented or already have been implemented in the other ones and uh, I think that this trend is definitely going to continue uh, in the, this year and the years to come. So there's going to be less uh, of uh, a major difference between uh, one and the other. Um, that being said, one of the uh, softwares which uh, I'm using more often these days is uh, Figma. And the main reason is that uh, I really enjoy the live collaboration features, uh, especially with some of my clients. And the type of projects we're working with, it really makes sense because um, they can edit things like uh, typography or maybe we can hop uh, on a live uh, uh, screen shared call and uh, I don't even have to share the screen. I can just send them over the Figma link. They can, you know, see everything that uh, uh, directly from that link. So that's uh, really interesting. Plus I have all of my projects in the cloud, which um, is really good. Uh, although I also keep a backup uh, um, just because you know, I'm, I'm paranoid for uh, security and all of that stuff. But anyways, uh, that's one of the features that I really like uh, Figma for. But uh, I'm also using Sketch uh, quite a bit uh, still. And uh, I mean, Sketch is a software that I've been using for years. And uh, I think it really it's really good. Uh, for some things, uh, I think it's better and, uh, than Figma. Um, but uh, in other areas, Figma wins. Uh, and um, I also like using Adobe XD from time to time, but uh, I don't really use it that often. Um, I did some projects in the past years with Adobe XD. I think it's very easy to use, especially if you're coming from, uh, from Sketch. Uh, I think that a lot of the features are, are similar, but the same is true also for Figma. So, my suggestion would be if you're just starting out, uh, I would uh, suggest I would recommend you to go with uh, either uh, one of these three. Maybe Sketch is the most uh, used still, but I don't know. I, I would uh, need to relook at uh, you know recent job posting uh, and uh, the market share in general. Actually, I think that uh, with uh, all three of them, you're going to be pretty good. Um, Sketch, uh, I think, would be a good. Uh, a good place to start overall, but uh, Figma, you, you can start for free. So, you know, that's definitely something good. Although Sketch, they have a free, free trial, if I don't remember um, wrongly. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's we all we, we we free of them. You can definitely, and plus also Adobe XD is free. So you can give it a go and uh, um, do your first uh, learning experiences uh, in, uh, in those. But um, yeah, overall, I think that uh, design softwares are really not the place where you have to focus all of your energy, especially if, you're, if you've been around the designing for quite a while. Um, but one tip that uh, I do have uh, is to actually focusing on mastering one and then moving to the other and trying to master 
uh, that one. And um, one thing in particular is to learn the shortcuts and uh, the ins and outs uh, of your primary design software because I believe that uh, that uh, is going to pay dividends uh, throughout uh, uh, you know all, all of the time that you're going to spend uh, in uh, working on projects. So especially when it comes to you know productivity and uh, being efficient and and fast, uh, that uh, that's really something which uh, which helps. Uh, and um, you know can can speed up the process and also make uh, the projects more easy to work on and uh, more efficient in general. Now, I'm really uh, big on the workflows and productivity in general because if you're actually using the right workflows, the project the, you, you can work on the same project, but if you're working with an inefficient workflow going to take you more time uh, and uh, you're going to have a, a worse result uh, um, and it's also going to take more effort actually than uh, if you're working with uh, the right workflows so I'm, I'm really big on workflows and um, I always try to, to stay cutting edge when it comes to softwares and uh, you know I'm always trying to think like how can I make uh, the work uh, more uh, efficient more faster and uh, how can I make uh, me working with my clients more more easy for them? So that's definitely something which uh, uh, I encourage you to do as well, because um, like learning a design software is the ins and out of it. Um, that's cool, but um, you should always try to think about the bigger picture and how to make uh, um, your entire workflow better. And uh, you know, starting from the way you market yourself the sales process, um, how do you work on, on fixed projects, how you work on uh, ongoing projects, what are all of the dynamics. So yeah, you want to try and uh, look at the entire, the entire thing from, uh, from a high level and then uh, isolate the different steps of the way and uh, really investigate and try to think, how can I improve this area? Now, how can I improve this other one? Maybe this one, I, I can tweak it. Maybe I can uh, A-B test it with, uh, with this client and then see how it goes. And um, yeah, that's definitely something which is important. But going back to the design softwares, um, I think that if you go in 2020 with uh, either Sketch, Adobe XD or Figma, um, you're definitely going to be good and uh, you can deliver tons of value to your clients. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you're interested in more of these uh, videos on uh, UI UX design and uh, both of the freelance uh, business part of it, uh, because I'm, I've am i been a freelancer and a consultant for uh, more than five years, working 100% remotely. And uh, I'm sharing my experience on uh, the channel. And uh, I'm also sharing some uh, tutorials and more like hands-on videos from time to time. So if you're interested in that, check out my channel, subscribe. And um, yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.